Well, we've just just heard a. <laughs> this is one of the 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 a revelation. What? How I sleep? Yeah. Well, I just can't stand sheets on me. It's like even summertime, I got to have to fan an air conditioner on. I got a bit of a cold now, and Jade gets really cold, so she has to heat her on the lounge room. And I yesterday I was sweating like a pig on the couch. But when I go to bed, even like through the middle of winter, I don't have any sheets on me. I just sleep in shorts, no top. If I get a bit cool through the night, I might just put a light sheet over my legs, but then I kick it off again later on. But Jade, she'll cling onto me like a monkey through the night. When I get hot, it's like, ah. I let her sleep like that, but I, I, don't, no, I, don't, I can't stand sheets on me. And for Even over in England, it's like if it's cold, I just sleep with none on me. And they had the air conditioner go. And for, for people that are in England and North America and Europe... Well, even Aaron that lives in England, he was complaining that it was cold. Well, like, you got to be fucking kidding, it's hot. I'd get in the car and turn the air on, and you'd be, like, turning it off because saying it's freezing cold. I'm thinking someone from England should be fucking used to the cold. What a fucking pussy. You don't like the cold? You're from Ireland. Yeah. Shorts on You're from winter. Ireland. I've, I've worn shorts on through winter. You're from Ireland. You should be yeah. right. Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. <laughs> now, um... Uh, and for, for, for people that are from... The only, the only cold I don't like is if you're outside. I always just wear shorts and t-shirts and stuff, but if you get a real strong wind and get that wind chill, yeah. then that gets annoying. But if there's no cold wind blowing, I love the cold. Yeah. And, and our houses, even though people think Australia is really hot, uh -huh. our houses are actually freezing cold in That's winter. The thing, when I was in England now, they said, what is it back in Australia now? I said, oh, it's winter time. They're like... Oh, that's still hot, isn't it? I said, no, it gets really cold. I said, I was down near zero where I live, you know, two degrees in the morning, and we're getting tons of snow. Or oh, you get snow in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. Half the people didn't realise we get snow. I said, we've got some of the biggest ski fields outside the Swiss Alps, and they don't believe it. They think, oh, we're just all desert and hot and stuff, but no, but no, I love the cold. What, what, what goes faster, hot or cold? Huh? Don't know. Hot, because you can catch a cold. Oh, oh, that's a classic. I got one, see? And, like, it must be, like, you don't have heating on your, in your house in, in, in winter overnight. No, I turn it off when I go to bed, but then in bed, Jade's got, like, the sheet, another blanket, the doona, and that's all on her, then I throw my side over her, and I just lay with nothing on me. That I is, that it. is freakish. I can't stand it. Because, you know, oh, even you, you'd get into bed over here and it's freezing, yeah, freezing. <laughs> I love it. That's the best. Like hopping into a cold bed. Jade, when they get an electric blanket, I said, oh. fucking no way. I said, you can put it on your side, but I can't stand a hot bed. I like to hop in the bed where it's cold, your pillow's cold. Yeah, if, you pillow, cold. if your pillow gets hot, you can turn it over. Uh. So it's cold again. Hop in the shower with a till and it's almost like scalding. Yeah. And she hates when I hop in because I've got to turn the cold water on. So like, that's freezing. I'm like, no, that's just nice now. It's warm. <coughs> yeah. She has it where you, you fucking get out. You look like you've got fucking third degree burns. She has it so hot. I'm like, how the fuck do you stand that? Well, I get out and I'm drying myself and I start sweating. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why I like showering with Matt. It's, um, he likes it cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, things warm up. but um, <laughs> He likes more dropping the soap. Um, but no, that's, that's a... Um, yeah, you must have some sort of uh, central heating going on there. And I'm sure this is going to. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm sure this is going to start the the, the rumor mill. Um, no, must be all the clean butyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heat me up. Yeah. It's not, yeah. Burning, it's not burning the fat though. So yeah, it's like it's yeah. Going yeah. It's yeah. the DNP. No, no. Well, your body's become um, um, immune to it. It's wow. desensitized. I might have that spontaneous human combustion. Yeah. yeah. yeah one day I'm just going to go. Pfft. What if it happened to that? Remember you'd hear a lot of that back in the old days that people would just combust in their clothes and then they'd take a photo and like the whole body's just turned to ash but they'd burn that fast and quick that the clothes would still be there and one person was in a chair and all these the chair didn't even catch fire because his body just combusted. They could never explain it. Do you remember those cases? Yeah, vaguely. Well, look but it up. Spontaneous human combustion where people just burst into flames and they burn that quick and hot that they clothes don't even burn. Have you seen it? I feel like I'm talking to idiots here. No, no, it's <laughs> something that would have happened years and years ago. Like, years oh, it ago. It might happen now, they just don't promote it. It's like, you know, everything's promoted now. This is another thing I laugh about. Did you see that thing on the news the other day where it said, 
some parents in different places, if your children are under 12 and they walk to school by themselves, you can get in trouble now or fined and that. And people are like, oh, well, you know. Under 12? Yeah. Under oh 12. my God. Yeah, you can get in, get in trouble for it. I'm like, what the fuck? I remember I used to walk to school at six. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, and people on the news are like, well, it's different times now. I said, no, it's not. What, do you think that fucking pedophiles have been around since the fucking yeah. dawn of ages? Just that now, you hear about it more through yeah, social exactly, media. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There was tons of people abused back then, but look at the people now who are coming out saying they were abused. They're in their 40s and 50s, and they were all abused back then, but back then they never talked about it. There was a family member or someone in the yeah. clergy, it was never spoken about. So then saying, oh, you know, times have changed now, it's more dangerous. No, it's fucking not. What you think, oh, 2005 was the born of... You know, birth of the pedophiles or fucking yeah. birth of the child abductors. Oh, hold on, 2010, the child abductors were suddenly fucking born. They've been around for fucking ever. When I was walking to school, I'm sure there was pedophiles yeah, yeah, yeah. and people that abduct people around then. It's just that you never heard about it as much. Now you hear about it a lot. So these parents would say, oh, it's a different time and place these days. Yeah, it is. It's more safe now. Like yeah, kids I, I agree. School. Kids have fucking phones. People are more aware of it. So there's more safety things out there now that kids are actually safer walking yeah. to school today than back in those days. So fucking hell, adults. Pull your head out of your fucking ass and stop wrapping your kids in cotton wool and let them be fucking kids and walk to school for fuck's sake. No, no, well, I think the funny thing is, oh, yeah, no, no, we won't let them go outside and no, play because of the, play pedo the front yard. Pe pedos. But then well, half the pedos are in the fucking family. Old uncle that comes over to babysit, <sighs> he's jacking your kid off while you're at the movies. How do you fucking like that? No, well, they, they'll, they'll give them an iPad or a video game. Oh, and yeah, they put all their information on it. No, they're, they're playing online games with... with um, pedophiles. Yeah, yeah, with pedophiles and, and uh -huh. you know, the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. safe. Or then they put online, I'm going down to the park. Blah, blah, blah. No, these pedos would be playing with hundreds of kids oh, yeah. and, and then they'd... You don't know who be, they are, fake be, profiles. Yeah, they might groom them over years and then go, oh, let's meet up at such and such and... Yeah. and but like I said, a kid playing in their front yard is just as safe today as any other day. More safer. Like yeah, said, I agree. Kids nearly all have phones these days, so if something goes wrong... Thank you. But as I said, every, people were abducted and fucking abused back then because look at the ones that are coming out and they're saying they're abused, they're in their 50s. And 40, so they were abused back then when I was a kid. So it went on back then, but now, of course, there's so much more media attention on it. And like yeah. I said, there's just so much more social media about it, and it's been brought to the attention. It's just like, you know, with all this depression stuff. Depression's been going on for years, suicide, but now to have all these groups beyond blue and this, to be like, all oh, depression's such a big thing. People were depressed back in the 50s, 60s. They had the Great Depression, remember that? <laughs> yeah, Everyone was fucking the depressed. No jobs, no money, no food. So it's been going on for years and years and years, but these parents will just say, oh, it's so much more dangerous now. No, it's not. You're just making it dangerous. You're scaring the kids and having this stranger bullshit. You know, strangers don't look like strangers. These people you see that do commit these crimes, if you see them on the news or even these serial killers, they look like your friendly next yeah. door neighbour. So you paint this picture of a bad, scary guy. Well, it's not that way at all. It's the nice guy who's just got the puppy, hey, come here, and that sort of thing, and they sucker him in. Yeah. Uh, you got to let kids be kids, and when they're at that age, as long as they know the road rules, to look before crossing the road, yeah. and that, walk to school with a friend and have a phone, there's no problem. So stop all this fucking scaring bullshit. Like I said, pedophiles and fucking kidnappers and murderers weren't suddenly just born in the year 2000. they are fucking been around for fucking ever. Like I said, it's just more, we hear about it more now, but you're just as safe letting your kid walk to school today as you were back in the old days. And I think, too, because more people are more aware of it now, if something does happen and a child screams or something goes on, there's more people around to fucking stop it and intervene. So like I said, but it's just silly. Yeah, let them, let them stay at home, become obese. Um, yeah, play on the computer. Uh, yeah, and then they'll... Um, talk to the pedophile. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what have you got on there? Yeah. Is that you and your sword attacking me? Yeah. yeah. Well, Click, uh, run behind the castle. Well, like that South Park episode where he was talking <laughs> to some guy on there called eight and a half inches. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, geez, he must be a small person. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about South Park, they'll bring, like, current issues at the forefront, but in a joking around way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always funny. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know my nickname on there anyway? <laughs>